Hey, welcome back everybody. Today I decided I was going to revisit the bridge, uh, the Bluffdale Suspension Bridge a year later to show you guys the condition. You can see the tree has fallen next to the um, Texas Historical Landmarker, or Landmark. So I'll read this on the last video. I'll get a little closer to, if you guys want to pause the video and read it. I'm not going to stand here and read it today. But the bridge is still standing, but barely. Um, I'm hoping this video is a little better quality than my last one. I've upgraded my equipment quite a bit since then. I'm um, going to put some drone footage in here. As well as we're going to walk down to the riverbed today and, and have a look at it. But before we went back to the riverbed, I, I decided to go ahead and launch the drone. And show you guys a front side view. Um, like I said, the traffic was a little heavier than I was used to or expecting really out here. So I had to make it quick on this side of the bridge. I didn't catch any of them on camera, but you'll just have to believe me as there was cars and trucks coming. Um, so you can see me scanning around. You'll see that there's a preservation sign on this bridge um, from 2009 to being one of the most endangered in the state. Unfortunately, it hasn't gotten any better, and I don't see any, any efforts being made to keep this thing standing. Once we do get to the back side, I'll show you the cables a, a little bit closer. I'm going to slowly walk through here. You can see the vines taking it over. They say this is the oldest suspension bridge left in the U.S. that's still standing. Uh, I know there's others. A lot of people make comments on my original video. If you haven't seen that, I'll, I'll put something up on the screen so you guys can watch that one. And I do read all the comments, guys. Uh, there's lots of great suggestions. I'm going to start hitting uh, some of the landmarks that everybody suggested that I go see. The other bridges, um, some of the historical buildings around the area. This is in Bluffdale, Texas. Uh, I live pretty close. I consider myself local. Probably about a 15-minute drive down. So this little road today is pretty busy. So I'm going to go to the back side of this bridge, and we'll have a look at that. All right, I'll get right back with you. Okay, I'm back. So there is a trail to lead down here. We're gonna walk down here today and try to take a look on the back side of this bridge to get a little bit more up close and personal. Let's stay out of the road. For this to be a dead end road, there seems to be quite a few vehicles coming up and down it today. So you can see the old steel, it is pretty rusted. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got square bolt heads. Um, looks like channel iron just some old pipe holding it up in places so imagine back in the day when this thing was built an 80,000 pound truck wasn't even around back then you can see the old cable it's still pretty pretty tight there you went up to the peak of course you got your lovely vandals I don't know how people's got to do that but they do so let's walk underneath this thing I hope this camera's doing it justice I don't know if you're going to be able to make out what I'm seeing but there's some right here where the cables on the support comes together this cable here is looking pretty frayed I don't know if you can see that or not but I imagine once that starts popping the rest of the way loose this old bridge is gonna gonna be down I don't think there's much preservation efforts being taken on this thing, unfortunately. Um, besides just having the cool factor, it's not really serving a purpose to anybody. So I'm assuming the state or the county, whoever's responsible for this thing, just not going to spend the money on it. Well, I was going to try to get in a little closer, but uh, I don't feel like falling in the water today. So I was able to get the drone up in the air on the back side of this thing too so I can give you guys a little bit better view um, to really see how bad the shape uh, this bridge is in. It's really deteriorating. There's quite a few cables that have came loose and uh, I just don't know how much longer this thing is gonna, gonna be standing for anybody to come see it. Next good wind storm or God forbid a tornado will roll through the area close to this thing it, it may be the final blow to it but uh you can see it twisted pretty bad as i'm flying along here um i know the cables i believe you'll be able to see them pretty frayed up here and i think this may be a patch job right here that you're seeing i'm i'm not 100 percent sure i'm gonna see if i can find a few pictures of this thing back in its glorious days so i think there's a few on the internet 
um, that I may be able to find to show what it used to look like before it got into such rough shape. It is pretty sad for it to be so old and, you know, have be considered the oldest standing original suspension bridge that there is in the U.S. And for there not to be an agency to step in to help save this thing or, or at least reinforce it where it can stay standing. I know there's no no purpose for it really besides nostalgia and it is in a small town and not a whole lot of people know about it and I didn't know about it until I actually just got to looking for landmarks around my area and I was blown away to find out that this thing was right here in our backyard but uh you can see within a year's time if you look at my original video that I shot on this thing it it's time is doing this thing no favor um, it's pretty easy to get to it's just a I don't know, maybe a quarter mile off of Highway 377 that runs right through Bluffdale. So if you're in the area, look it up on Google, and I'll put some uh, the GPS coordinates in the description down here as well. That way you guys can find it. It's, it's easy to find. Um, like I said, I just don't know how much longer it's going to be here. But guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Um, if you enjoy this type of thing, just drop me a comment. Let me know something of, that you would like to see. Um, or any ways that I can improve this or something that I missed here that you guys see. So I'm really Thanks. hoping this, this little video here is doing it justice. You can see most of the, the suspension span is twisted and and getting frayed. I really hope the, the camera's doing this justice. Not sure if it is or isn't. We'll find out when I get back home, I suppose. But if you're interested in seeing this thing before it does fall down, I would suggest coming. I first came out here, I think around January 15 in uh, 2023. And it's now close to the end of January in 2023, or 2024, excuse me. And uh, somebody did make the comment that it was a lot worse shape than whenever I visited. And uh, I'm not gonna argue that point with them. So guys, if you like, like this, uh, you know the area I'm in. I'm in North Texas. Leave me some comments. Tell me where to go, what you guys want to see, what you'd like to film. Maybe you can't get out there or you're not in this part of the country anymore and you'd like to see what it looks like today. And I'm going to try to start making those trips and, and short little videos for everybody. Uh, here's my bride. I finally got her to quit her job. That kind of held me back a little bit last year. She always had to work weekends. And I just felt guilty if I was going to go and do this type of stuff by myself. So now she's free. We've got her a little jeep to drive so we can go off-roading if we want to and uh guys i hope you enjoy this video like i said this this old bridge is not going to be around very long thanks for watching and uh drop me a subscribe if, if you like these type of videos it, it helps thank you